Well, hello everybody. Another day. Well, I, I, I kind of say that, don't I, with not much oomph put into it. Um, but it is another day. Not overly sunshiny day. And as you can see, I have Jesse. Actually, today he um, shed a couple of days ago. So I thought, seeing as he's looking exceptionally smart, I think is the words for Jesse right now. Um, I would bring him outside. The sun has kind of gone behind some clouds, but not cold. Sun's not overly shiny. Hopefully, it'll poke itself out, and uh, Jesse can um, yeah get some sunshine on him. <laughs> he wants to go on the trampoline, of course, but uh, he can make his way down onto the ground at his own pace, as Jess will do. I hope. As you know, Jesse's a, a very clingy boy and really relies on me to do a lot of support. Of course, the miners have already appeared to to join us. Jesse, are you right? You're going to be able to do this without Mum helping you too much? I think I am going to have to help him. Guys, he's not very good at this because um, once he's down, he's brilliant. And I'm just going to let him do it. And I'll hold him firmly on this butt end. He's getting there. He's getting there. Going to go all the way. Have you got enough on the ground? Okay. There you go. He's, um, he's down. Too much bother. I get a, a very, um, what, somebody kind of mentioned it as in, and not a, hi Mia, I hear you. I hear you, darling. Come on then. Come on, come over and say hello. Saying hello. Yes? Hey? Yes, you are. I know. I know. Come and join us. You can join me and Jesse. I'm sure Jesse won't mind. But somebody mentioned um, and put it in terms of you know, Jesse is not uh, that socialised, um, say compared to Lily and and Jack. And but I don't know if the word would be socialised because you know Jesse certainly has no issue with me uh, handling him. Um, moving him around, doing things with him, um, certainly it, that isn't a bother to Jesse. Um, in terms of him actually wanting to come on out and be out, no. Um, Jesse just isn't like that and he may never ever actually be like that. Um, of course he's still got a lot of growing up to do. Uh, Jesse is three years old now. Oh my goodness, I am here and I know that you're here and I'm not paying enough attention attention to you. I'm talking about Jesse, am I? You could go chase those birds away for me, Mia. Hey, what do you think? I'll just smooth you, totally smooth you instead which is what she, she does. Uh, makes the most of the time that mum comes out so that she gets 
some smoogies in, of course. But, um, yeah, Jessie may not be like a Jack and a Lily, even an Apani and a Maya. You know, they're just out there um, as much. And Maya and Tessa, of course, isn't so much. And Jessie falls within that category. And that really is nothing to do with me doing anything differently. It's the personality of the snake themselves. You know, Tessa is still quite defensive in herself. Um, Jessie has never been that way. So, you know, I just want to maintain what relationship I do have with Jessie. And that means that occasionally I've got to get Jessie out um, to continue that with him, to keep that going with him all of the time. Um, otherwise, you know, these snakes that aren't so out there, um, for some, I would hope not, just get left to the side because they see it as, well, yeah, he doesn't really like it or he doesn't really want it or, or whatever. And I guess you might be able to see it that way, but I don't. I just see it as they just need a little bit, bit more prompting um, than my other snakes um, in coming out and being out because I know that once Jesse's out, he and he's on the ground or he's crawling where he wants to go which can be the hangout spot and so on he's in his element and he loves it it's just more about him understanding that I am not going to um, drop him um, that I'm, I'm he can support himself on me he just um, isn't so sure about that it's just the way it goes and I've been saying this about Jessie um, if you go back, you know, from, from, from the very first kind of videos I ever did with Jesse, I spoke about the same thing with him. Um, very insecure in that way. And I thought it was his inability with his weight transfer. Um, him understanding that, you know, this bit is um, connected and he's fine. Um, if this bit's hanging a bit, he just, yeah, doesn't figure it out so well. I'm sorry that that sun isn't shining. I should have got out here a little bit earlier. And I was going to, and I got sidetracked. And I thought, oh, Jesse, come on, buddy, we're going to head on out. But um, he had a beautiful shed. Um, he actually ate. Um, I didn't think that he would. Um, but he ate. And he as soon as he finished and I think because he stretched his jaw and had eaten and the his skin had come loose under his chin he decided oh well I may as well get this shed off now while it's already you know starting and uh, he did and uh, it was perfect so I'm happy um, with that because not the last one but the one before he left uh, a little bit on his head and one of his eye caps uh, but it was actually the first shed that he had ever had in his new enclosure so I think he's worked out where's a good place to start getting that head off and he generally will use the hammock um, for that um, for underneath his chin and then he tends to move to the wall um, to lift it off his nose and start lifting it up from there so they're very smart um, they they know what surfaces um, work best for which bit of their body and you might think oh no they don't they just but I've watched Jesse do this the last couple of times and he's had a much better shed then the first time when he was all over the place trying to get that head off. Um, now he knows where to go, straight up. 
So, um, yeah, had a, had a, I don't know what he's licking down there, but um, he's licking something. And I know Lily was there, Jack was there. Yeah. Weren't they? You taste them. Yes. So, I don't think he'll be using the toilet. You never know. It's only been, like I said, a couple of days um, for Jesse. But, uh, you know, I want to say, you know, a big thank you to the people that um, support my channel and, and not just because of their support of my channel but because I have so many like-minded people um, there commenting and doing and, and saying you know I agree gay you know there's so much more to them than just putting them in an enclosure and, and leaving them be. Um, that they do need stimulation, mental stimulation, not just holding them in your hands, you know, putting them down, letting them go for explore, stubborn and all that they might be and want to go somewhere where you don't want them to go. But then it's up to you, isn't it? to say to them, well, you're not going there and I'm not going to let you. And to understand that if that snake has that bond and trust with you, you will be able to stop them from doing that by putting your hand over their head or grabbing them here. And um, I'm just seeing if... Um, there is any little bits of skin but grabbing them you know fairly close to their head and saying uh 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 you know you, you'll be able to have that trust with your snake that they're not going to turn around and have a go at you that they'll connect the dots and understand that you might be appearing to be bossy to them but you're not well, you are. How does that work? You are bossing them to some degree. But they have a respect as to why you're doing it and not because you want to hurt them or, or do any harm by them. They won't react to it. But if you have not built up that relationship with your snake and have that, you'll, you won't be able to control them. You won't be able to stop them from doing things and going for fear of them turning around and having that go at you. So, so many reasons to have that trust from them because once you've got the trust, then it's that bonding process that you go through with them and the more time you spend with them, the more bonding actually occurs and then you will never ever worry whether your snake is going to turn around and have a go at you. So it is a great way to be with your snake and if you think that they're not smart enough to connect the dots then you're the one with the brain that is less than theirs if that's probably the best way that I could say it to you. Um, do not think of them as being stupid creatures. They are not stupid at all. They are very, very smart. And I'm probably going to reiterate that so many times you'll get sick of me hearing it. But I have so many people, like I said, that I appreciate who are seeing it, understanding it, and, and actually saying, you're right. 
you are absolutely right and that is how I want to work with my snake or be with my snake or hang with my snake or do things with my snake. I want to be able to have that relationship with them that you do. And if anybody thinks that that relationship will exist with 10 minutes once a week with you holding them, it, I it isn't going to happen. You know, people will say you only need to handle them a couple of times a week and for 10 minutes and then you're going to have this chilled out, cruisy, easy going snake. Yeah, you, you probably will. But will you ever know that snake? And, and what they're really like? Is there that time that you'll put your hand in and they'll bite you? I bet they will. Because there's a difference between 10 minute handling to a couple of hours of them being out and not even being handled, but just being in your space, around you, watching you, because they're watching you the whole time. And they know that you're there and that you will keep them safe. And you're, you, you're giving them freedom to, to make choices. And if you don't think they don't know that, well, they do know that. And they will respect you for it a whole lot more than you getting them out and putting them around your neck and saying, there you go. Um, it's okay, bub. It's okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jesse says, don't you come any closer to me. That was just too close but as you saw no quick strike no I'm going to eat you that was just go away just go away from me that is just way 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 too close for comfort for me and Jessie probably hasn't had as much exposure to my cats um, as my other snakes do um, as you know, Jesse, you know, he goes up and he goes and does his thing. Whereas, you know, my cats think that every snake is a lily and a jack, actually. Um, and that's how it is. So again, I've got to be on the ball. I have to be watching. I have to be the one that lets them know, no that's too close um, but yeah <laughs> you're going back now you're going back are you are you saying I'm coming to get you now you moved away from me and there there goes because Sam made a noise on the trampoline and frightened her but um, yeah guys I do appreciate hearing and many have decided that's what they're gonna do that's how they're gonna see their snakes and care for their snakes and work with their snakes that they believe that they do have emotions and a brain that can think and deserve much more than many get.